I'm back here in Calgary, Alberta on First Street at First Street Market, big food hall. And you know what? We're talking about Indian food. Not Northern Indian, which everybody really knows. I'm talking Southern Indian, the street food, the handheld food. I hear there's two buddies that are in here and they're knocking it out and they're scratch making it all. This is Saffron Street. Dropping rotis on the flat top. First bite into it and you're like, wow, I'm somewhere else. One samosa shot. Pulls out a lot of heartstrings for a lot of folks. And it's simply delicious. But certainly not simple, because the complex flavors Rahul Kanojia and Jesse Mann are bringing to this food hall come from a complete Indian adventure. My parents have a restaurant that's been in the city for over 30 years, okay. Indian restaurant. Northern or Southern? Northern Indian restaurant. Okay. I saw him doing South Indian street food, and I thought, I need to learn how to make this food. And then we had this opportunity to have this place here. This one is samosas. It has bold flavors, and it seems very authentic. Dosa coming up. Dosa is absolutely the way to go. It's a crepe filled with potato and onion. You have sambar on the side and coconut chutney. There's just so much flavor. What's the dish we're gonna make? Masala dosa today. Masala is a stuffing that goes inside the dosa. Right? So now we are making a dosa batter. Sona masuri rice. In the water for a few hours. These are the black lentils. They don't look black. They wash it and then they break it so they're white. Fenugreek seeds. And you're gonna puree that? Yeah, we have a special grinder for that. It's okay. called Vetstone Grinder, especially from India. The average person has this at home? Yep. What? Add water just to start the spinning process. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. How long is this going to run? 15 to 20 minutes. So we do the rice, then we mix the two together. And then we ferment it again for 12 hours. Next morning, we add salt. It has to sit in the fridge. A few hours, it'll be ready to hit the griddle. What are we working on now? The chutneys. But the coconut one is a special one. This is our desiccated coconut. So it's like dehydrated coconut almost. Exactly. Green chilies, super spicy. Cumin seeds, ginger garlic paste. Salt to taste. The roasted chana dal. It's like a lentil, which is roasted. Order. It's like a smoothie. We're gonna do a tempering for that one. So that's a hot pan. Canola oil. I'll have this just by itself. Mustard seeds. This is urad dal. Dal is just another word for lentils. Red chili whole. Curry leaf. We just pour it in here. And now we're gonna mix it together. We're gonna make the curry that you're gonna dip this dosa in. It's called sambar. The oil, the mustard seeds, green chilies, coriander, coriander. seeds. Crush it in your hand. Red chili. Give it a good stir. Curry leaf. Chopped onions. Ginger garlic paste. We add all the spices in okay. here. Coriander powder. Turmeric. Red chili powder. Kashmiri. Once the spice is cooked, add water, tomatoes, yellow lentils. Cooked and ready to go. Salt, sugar. Let it boil for 15 minutes. And that's it. So we're making the masala. Hot pan, canola oil. Mustard seeds. Mustard seeds, green chilies, red chilies. A lot of curry leaves in this place. Onions, ginger garlic paste. Turmeric now, and this is our very special masher. Very special masher? Nobody has it here. They all borrow from us. Here in the whole food hall? Yeah. We put the potatoes now. Special masher is happening right now. Salt, cilantro. This one is ready to scoop out for the dosas. Our tomato chutney, coconut chutney we made, the sambar that we just made. For dosas, you gotta season the griddle first. Oil, spread it all over. Basically make it a nonstick. You just season it with a little bit of onion. I like that. This is the fermented batter. That's it. So a little bit more oil, the dosa masala that we made right here. And then we just fold it. The size of this thing. How do you attack it? Rip and dip. Rip and dip? There are very few things in this world that have that much flavor, that much texture. That's outstanding. The coconut, tangy, subtle, delicious. The sandbar is a little bit sweet. The tomato chutney is more like a salsa. And then you get the meatiness and the body from the potato. That's in the top five best Indian dishes I've ever had. Three minutes on the first bill. I am crazy about the masala dosa. It's light and fluffy. It's got the little crispy edges and stuff like that. It's just a really vibrant kind of contrast between the two chutneys. You go to India, you walk on the streets there, like there'll be 10 dosa vendors all competing against each other, and all of them will have their own unique spin on it. It just takes me back to home. Two kind of chickens up, chef. My go-to is the chicken kati roll. It's like a flatbread rolled into its own unique recipe of chicken. It's amazing to have a bite into it. What are we into next, chef? We're making the kati roll. We marinate the chicken. Add red chili powder, turmeric, coriander powder, soy sauce. Let me guess, ginger garlic paste. Dried fenugreek leaves, salt to taste, mix it. What do we do next? We make the chutney for it. It's like a tamarind chutney. 
Oil. The ginger garlic. Got it. The red chili powder. Mm -hmm. Spice we make in-house. Fennel seeds, cumin seeds, and coriander seeds. Date and tamarind pulp. Jaggery, it's like sugar cane extract. Wow. Once it comes to a boil, refrigerated. All right, so the chutney's done, and the last thing we do is make the dough. All-purpose flour, salt, baking powder, sugar, baking soda, oil. Just give it a good mix here. Add the milk, water. After two hours, we punch it again, and then we portion it. And roll it out. We're gonna Got make it. chicken next. Some oil, green chilies, sliced onion, Kashmiri red chili powder, turmeric, coriander, saute, tomatoes, soy sauce, then the marinated chicken, toss, 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 dried fenugreek leaves, and fresh cilantro. Salt. Look at that. Super flaky. We just add a little bit of veg, cabbage, carrots, green peppers. We add our chicken, spicy chutney, plain yogurt, dried mango powder, we call it chaat masala, and then we roll it, serve it with some mint chutney and tamarind chutney. It's like an Indian burrito with like nine salsas. I love the sour, to the heat, to the sweet, to the tangy, the wrap. Think of the flakiness you kind of get from a croissant. Another knockout dish. Chicken kati roll. The kati roll packs a punch. It's got a lot of complexity in, in flavors. It's just this perfect harmony of spices. It just makes me happy. Prawn vindalu thali. Saffron Street definitely has my heart. You really love being a chef. I think you're the kind of guy that cooks dreams come true. Thank you. Chutney King.